as an INFJ, you surely do have a more emotional connection with animals than with shallow people. You feel like some of these animals can understand and emphasize with you better than any other human being on the planet. But what are these animals? Would you like them as pets? I'm going to show you the 10 animal pets the INFJ will most likely have. 10. Fish Most people might question the INFJ's preferences, but guess what? INFJs won't care. Staring at an aquarium full of artificial corals, plants, stones, and various fishes is one of the things INFJs would love to do for at least 5 minutes. Decorating, maintaining, and appreciating this creatively made ecosystem is therapeutic. INFJs have been dealing with the harsh world 24-7. That's why they always feel the need to do a routine activity, something that's therapeutic and mentally relaxing. By owning colorful fishes and giving them a customized home, INFJs would no longer need other people to regain peace. Feasting their eyes on these lovely and peaceful freshwater creatures is already one of the many ways they could comfort themselves. Does taking good care of these freshwater creatures comfort you? 9. Turtles For extroverted personality types, turtles are boring. They might even wonder why some people choose them as pets instead of cats and dogs. Well, these gentle creatures may not be the most entertaining and interactive animals on the planet, but they are laid-back creatures that demand very little time and attention, which is an ideal pet for a very busy INFJ. Unlike energetic and incredibly active animals, the only moments INFJs need to interact with their turtle pets are when they are feeding them. So they wouldn't have to allocate a significant amount of time in a day just to clean, feed, entertain, and groom them. Nevertheless, being one of the easiest animals to care for wouldn't make them any less therapeutic to watch. 8. Snakes Undeniably, even the truest INFJs would be tempted to skip this entry as fast as possible. Because why not? Some snakes are venomous and dangerous, so why would they get one? However, because INFJs love the untraditional choice of anything, some of them find owning a snake pet rewarding. But like any other pets, they are aware of the responsibilities it entails and that they shouldn't take them lightly. Snakes grow large and some kinds live for an unexpectedly extended periods of time. So it requires someone with a certain exactness and bravery to take good care of them. And these brave and responsible owners are no other than INFJs. Also, snakes can be stress relievers for their INFJ owners as they don't require daily walks and they remain silent day and night. Are you brave enough to own a snake? 7. Chow Chows Unlike fishes, snakes, and turtles, dogs are interactive animals. They have to feel the human touch and constantly share experiences with their owners. And because they are interactive with their owners, not all dogs complement well with the INFJ type. Not all of them can cope with their routines and match their daily habits. Some dogs are too energetic and might need more strenuous activities than just a daily walk at the park. These working dogs can't stay at home with their owners on the sofa while watching TV. However, Chow Chows are different. Although they began as working dogs, most of them are quite serene and adaptable. And even though they require socialization, they can live a day spending quality time with their owners only. And for INFJs, they badly need to spend an ample amount of time with their serene pet. These stress relievers are a go-to whenever an INFJ needs a warm cuddle after a long, exhausting day at work or school. 6. Shiba Inu Again, contrary to popular belief, INFJs aren't antisocial. They just need a spare ample alone time every day to replenish their depleted energy. And they need their dogs to be the same too. They need a dog that loves solitude and needs intimate companionship as much as they do. So another dog breed that can complement the INFJ's lifestyle and preference is the Shiba Inu. This dog breed is indeed a great match for INFJs 
as they are not only peace-loving but also independent and smart. They easily keep themselves entertained while their INFJ owner they share their house with spends most of their free time getting lost in a favorite book. Do you also see yourself enjoying your me time with an independent Shiba Inu? 5. Cats Although this should have been placed on the top of the list, some cat breeds aren't as friendly and welcoming as others. And as someone with very particular standards, INFJs can't generalize their love for cats and can't call themselves cat lovers. They only want cats that could sit on their lap while they write their journal or could sit quietly with them while they do yoga and meditation. Likewise, they just need a well-behaved cat that could do every home activity with them without having to spill a glass of water on their important documents and scratch on their expensive sofas while their busy owners aren't watching. 4. Birds Just like their love for cats, INFJs can't generalize their love for birds. There are only a few bird breeds that can be perfect match for introverts like INFJs. For example, a Senegal parrot that can talk or vocalize but does not scream and screech as much as other similar parrots can entertain INFJs without irritating them. The parakeet can do the same too. These birds don't have to make annoying noises just to converse with their quiet and reserved INFJ owners. Also, these birds are low maintenance and don't demand too much attention from their human owners to survive. So an INFJ can do their thing and mind their own business without having to worry about how these birds are doing while they aren't home yet. What specific bird behaviors and habits do you find most adorable? 3. Basenji This is another dog breed that INFJs need. Although they are known for being barkless dogs, they are not necessarily quiet. They can make distinctive sounds and be quite vocal whenever they need attention or are excited. But like the Shiba Inu breed, Basenjis are known for their independence, intelligence, initiative, and ability to easily keep themselves entertained without their busy INFJ owners, constant supervision and attention. It means they can enjoy both their shared experiences and their time away from each other without making their companionship any less significant. And INFJs, as introverts, badly need this genuine and mutual understanding in their life. 2. Chinchilla Chinchillas are quiet, clean, and absolutely adorable. Their highly introverted owners could watch or play with them during their alone time. Although their shy, less sociable, and withdrawn nature makes them unsuitable for thrill-seeking personality types and easily bored people, they are indeed perfect for peace-loving introverts like INFJs. Once chinchillas get comfortable in their new environment, they slowly become more social and active. And to INFJs, this impressive shift of energy is heartwarming. It only implies that they feel comfortable and only identify with no one but their owner. Do you also find yourself owning this cute creature someday? 1. German Shepherd With this breed's level of alertness, intelligence, intensity, and ability to create a profound bond with its owner, there is no wonder why the German Shepherd is one of the INFJ's dream dogs. These dogs have actually been bred to cooperate with their owners to complete a challenging task. Whether the task is complex or simple, the highly determined German Shepherd will dutifully complete it. And INFJs couldn't appreciate this level of obedience more. This soulful creature doesn't only give an INFJ the profound connection they need, but also helps them feel secure when they are home alone. Although they aren't the type of dog an INFJ could easily bring to the cafe and carry along with them to go on a vacation, they really are great exercise buddies. INFJs like all these pets for one common reason, and it is because all of them don't require small talk or ingenuine interactions, only quiet yet profound ones. As an INFJ, do you also see these pets as constant sources of comfort? Do you have any of them in your home right now?